Oh, oh click no. yeah. right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So my topic is going to be about two appraisals that were done on the same property. One appraisal was in July of 2016 and the same property again in November of 2019. The effect of spot pricing, the proximity to production, and the effect it has on appraised value. So this is a map of Pennsylvania and the red dots represent unconventional drill pads. My subject area is in Beaver County. The star is where the, uh, the subject property uh, is located. You can see that Washington and Green County have a lot of drilling density and the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania also have a lot of drilling density. Beaver County, not so much. That's one of the problems that appraisers have. Often there's not that many comparable sales to use. So let's look at Beaver County in 2016. These next several slides will be slides that were uh, range resources have on their website. It's in the public domain, and they are of the three major unconventional resources that are found in the Appalachian Basin. We will be going from the shallowest formation to the deepest formation. So this first one is the Upper Devonian Shale, our subject property has between 60 to 80 BCF gas in place, BCF billion cubic feet gas in place. Here we are located in southeastern Beaver County. We are west of the core area of the Upper Devonian. We are also in the wet gas region of the Upper Devonian Shale. The contour intervals are 20 BCF uh, intervals. The second horizon, which is the most prolific of the unconventional resources, is the Marcellus Shale. Our subject property is 75 to 100 BCF gas in place. You'll notice as you go from the northwest part of Beaver County to the southeast, it becomes more prospective from northeast to southeast. Again, we're outside of the core part of the Marcellus, so we're sort of tier two acreage. The contours are 25 BCF. Each level, the contour interval kind of changes. Um, whoops, I accidentally forwarded that one. Let's see if we can go back. Nope. How did that happen? Hmm. hmm. Can we go back? Oh, arrow keys. Page down. Arrow key. Page up. Doesn't mark. Man, I must have touched it somehow. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, 25 um, BCF contours, and we again are in the wet gas of the Marcellus Shale. Here we, oops, now that one, oh, I see. All right, Point Pleasant, which is the deepest horizon, sometimes called the Utica by operators. Our subject property is 65 to 75 BCF gas in place. And it's kind of the same throughout Beaver County. I mean, some areas are a little bit lower, 55 BCF gas in place. But here we are in the dry gas portion of the Utica Shale. So all over Beaver County, dry gas Utica. Stacking all three of the unconventionals on top of one another, our subject property is 200 to 250. BCF gas in place. And you'll see as you go from northwest to southeast, Beaver County is really most perspective where the subject parcel is located. Um, obviously still not in the, the core area. This is kind of tier one acreage. This is tier two. But you would expect that most of the development would be in that southeastern section of Beaver County. That happened again, and I did not touch. That is really weird. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, so our pricing during this time period, these two bars represent 12 month period, July of 2015, July of 2016. And we are looking at the Dominion South Index. There are three other Appalachian indexes here. They are tracking mostly right on top of each other. And they're fairly flat for this 12 month period, $1.25 per MCF just beginning to increase as toward the end of the time period when I'm doing my appraisal. 
This is the, the look of Beaver County in 2016. To the right, to the east, Penn Energy Resources has 13 pads with 11 producing wells. Our subject property is here with a star. It's 25.18 net mineral acres. It's leased to Penn Energy. We have one um, unconventional pad to the east of our property. It's permitted, but nothing has been spud to date. Interestingly, most of the production and development is to the north, which is a little bit surprising because if you'll remember, this area in here is the area which appears to be most prolific with the uh, BCF gas in place. Um, there is one well that was that's producing from the Utica. We have a, a upper Devonian well. Everything else is Marcellus Shale. Chesapeake has 22 pads and 11, um, 11 producing wells, and Range Resources has two pads to the south, but there's no production. There are five comparable sales in a 12-month look back during this period, and there are these blue dots you can see right here, one, two, three, four, five. Economy Borough, that sounds like, you know, we, we'll, sometimes you'll talk about a town being a borough, but the name of the township is Economy Borough. Economy Borough had one sale, it's the oldest sale. This property was unleased and it went for $2,450 per net mineral acre. The second sale was $3,500, this was unitized. This was a, a sale of $33.75, uh, this was a leased property. This was a unitized property for Chesapeake, and we had one sale of a leased property in Raccoon Township, um, again with range. One of the things I wanted to look at was, was there any relationship to uh, the sale price? I mean, we, we see that there's a, a relationship between um, the leased development unleased, leased, unitized, and the price increases as you get closer to the drill bit. But I wanted to look and see if there was a relationship to pipeline infrastructure. This is a map of Beaver County in 2013. There was not a 2016 map, but if you look at Economy Borough, there's kind of not much of a pipeline density. So this 2450 uh, dollars per, uh, per acre, is that really a, a function of the fact that there's not much uh, pipeline? We certainly have a pretty good pipeline development in New Swickley, good pipeline development in Doherty, very good pipeline development in uh, South Beaver, and good pipeline development in, in Raccoon. Um, you know, it sort of, it, it was a question that happened again. This is really wild. And uh, you might have a timer uh, on your presentation. Sometimes slides for. Uh, didn't put one on, but that's okay. Um, I also wanted to look and see if there was a tectonic aspect. There is a fault that goes between Beaver County. There's a, a unitized property that went for 3,500 to the west, the upthrown side of the fault. There's a 35. Uh, dollar per acre sale on the downthrown side. So the tecton there's not a tectonic aspect. There's not a, uh, it's not playing into why certain sales are higher than or lower. Stacking it up, this chart summarizes all the sales that were uh, going on with a 12 month look back in 2016. A little bit of a cue. Here's Economy Borough. This is a sale that was 25.50. I included one other sale that was a personal communication, and this one was uh, 73 acres, but it included the surface rights. So it was an outlier, and I felt that because it included the surface rights, I discounted that particular piece of data, five sales. We have two that are leased, two that are unitized. So if you're looking at the average, not including the unleased, um, kicking out the lowest point and the highest point, we're at $3,400 per net mineral acre. The average with surface, um, without the surface rights, 
we incl now include the unleased is 32. Average of all sales is about $3,600. So you can see how that surface right uh, data point would really increase the value. Average lease, 3,300. Average unitized, 3,500. And let me, um, this, this, one data, this one data point, the economy borough was actually in March of 2015. So it really pulled it back a little bit by 15 months, but I included it because it was within the township where the subject parcel was located. So our conclusions, unitized acreage had the highest value. Leased acreage uh, had a pretty tight range, $125 per acre difference. The unleased acreage was the least. The variance between unleased, leased, and unitized was relatively narrow, $1,000. However, by the end of July of 2016, the, the natural gas prices were beginning to rise. It led to a recommendation of a value of $3,000 to $3,500 per net mineral acre. And the mineral interests were sold for $3,500. Uh, which was the same as the unitized price. These were leased acres that sold for unitized. So by opening up the window a little bit, um, the, uh, the buyer got a little bit more of a value. So now let's look at it in Beaver County of 2019. This is a map um, of the unconventional wells drilled by year. Here's Beaver County. To the right is the Penn Energy right at the east side of Beaver County is Penn Energy's wells, and they were all drilled between 2016 um, through 2018. The west side, you don't really have, these are older wells, 2012, uh, 2013. On the, other, on the eastern side, really, this is Butler County. Again, they're older wells, 2013, 2012, 2013. Comparing the two, um, kind of a time shots, 2016 and 2019. Here's Penn Energy. In 2016, there were 13 pads with 11 producing wells. We're now at 23 pads with 60 producing wells. But what's interesting is that most of the development is north of Economy Borough. Here's our subject parcel. Remember, there was just one pad. Now there are three pads in Economy Borough. Range resources goes from two to six pads. Chesapeake, 20 pads, 10 producing wells. It sells to Geopetro. There are 19 pads. This one pad ended up, um, uh, was permitted and expired, and 10 producing wells. I know this is a bit of a busy slide, but what I want to point out here is our subject parcel. Again, it's leased. And we, now we have production to the east of it, in um, Beaver County 15, we have a, perm a, a pad to the south, which is permitted with six wells. We have a pad to the west with nine permitted wells. But the rest of, you know, the other 56 producing wells are to the north, which is really kind of unusual because if you'll remember, this southeastern section is really, is according to the range resources map, is really supposed to be the most perspective. This is laying out, here's our, our uh, subject parcel, and there are two wells that are producing directly to the east of it. This one's 1 1.5 BCF, 1.7 BCF, about 6,000 barrels of condensate each well. Each well's been on for about a year and three quarters. To the west of our subject parcel, there are four well permits. However, I'm doing this appraisal in November of 2016. The next month, these four wells are due to expire. There are also several permitted wells to the southeast of our subject parcel, and there are the 1H and the 3H wells will also expire. So, you know, it begins to be concerning that uh, permits are expiring, uh, what's going on? Let's look at prices. Whoops. So
So again, uh, 12, uh, 12 month look back. This is September of, 26, of 2018. Here is August of 2019. And this is the Dominion South Index. It's the light green. It's tracking pretty much on top of the Tennessee. This is Henry Hub. Appalachian indexes have been um, below at a discount to Henry Hub since 2013. So during this time period, the average value of the Dominion South is $2.33 per MCF. However, for the first six months, the average is $2.70 per MCF. The last six months of our look back period is $2.25. So kind of a, you know, almost a, over a 50 cent discount. However, our prices in 20, during the second appraisal is almost a do, is more than a dollar more than the 2016 appraisal. So comparable sales in the last 12 months, we have 15 comparable sales as opposed to five the last time. Here's our subject parcel. In Economy Borough, there are two sales. One is leased and one is unitized. And the range is from 3,100 to 5,500. However, the unitized parcel sells for 3,100. It's the lower value. We have five sales in Independence, um, Independence Township. I've circled the letter F. That letter F represents the most expensive, uh, the highest sale during that time period. It's $8,600. Uh, per net mineral acre. And there, it's not like it's right next to a pad. It's just a little bit curious to me that why it's almost $2,000 more than the other, um, other townships. Hanover Township also has five sales. And I circled the letter, um, geez, I can't see it from here. It looks like an L. And the this is the lowest sale during this time period. It's $251. It appears to be an arm's length transaction. But that, I thought, well, maybe it's an uninformed buyer. I mean, very odd that it's only $251. Three sales in green, varying between $2,000 and $6,000 per net mineral acre. Again, a look at the pipelines. Economy Borough, no, no, this is still the same map, so there's not really that much, same amount of lack of pipeline density. Independence, certainly a lot of density of pipeline here, but not a good, you know, not a big pipeline infrastructure in Hanover and not much in green. So what is the driver? So I called Penn Energy Resources and asked what, um, you know, what's the going rate for, uh, oil and gas rights in Economy Borough. And the land manager said, I'll give you $1,500 per net minimum acre. <laughs> and I thought, that's a little light. And so I called some of the other mineral buyers. Uh, I did get a firm offer of $4,750 per net mineral acre, and that was with an email with a date of transaction. I called um, another land um, uh, Mineral buyer, he said, I think I can get you above 5,000. So I used those two numbers, and then I called Cavallo. Cavallo, if you will recall, was the mineral buyer that had the $8,600 sale. And I asked the Cavallo mineral uh, buyer, I said, what's the oil and gas rights in Economy Borough worth? And he said, ho, ho, ho. He didn't say, call me little lady, although <laughs> I could hear it in his voice. Oh, they're not worth much. And I said, really? And he said, yeah, there's no pipelines there. And I said, hmm. So he said, and there was that pipeline explosion. And I thought, well, you know, is he meaning this one? I mean, wow. So I did a, a Google on pipeline explosion. And indeed, there was a new pipeline that was built that uh, crossed through Economy Borough. It was a product pipeline from Evans City, Butler County, down to a um, Revolution cryo and deethanizer plant. I'm not really sure that there were taps going into Economy Borough, but the effect of having a pipeline explosion always suppresses pri prices. 
This pipeline was actually in production for only seven days. On the, September 10th of 2018, um, the there was the explosion, the pipeline's been shut in, Revolution's been fined, uh, it hasn't been brought uh, back online, although the plans are to do so. So, looking at this again as a chart, this is from low dollar per acre to high dollar per acre. Here's the $8,600 per net mineral acre. And I've highlighted a couple of things. Any um, sale date in rows is one that's in 2018. The blue is an economy sale. This purple is a unitized sale. So we, we had two unitized sale. And anything that's tan was a sale by Cavallo, which was the mineral buyer who was the highest, uh, the $1,800 per net mineral acre, he was also the highest buyer. He had nine out of the 15 transactions was with Cavallo, although he wouldn't give me a price. So um, our average unitized is uh, $3,700 per net mineral acre. Our average leased was about $4,500. That's seven sales. Our average unleased was 5,600. I thought, hmm, that's interesting. That's inverse of 2016. What's going on here? Um, looking at an average 48, a median. I always check average to median to see if there's an outlier. Our 2018 average is $5,500 per net mineral acre. Our average 2019 sale is $4,000 per net mineral acre. The average Cavallo sale is $6,000 per net mineral acre. The average economy borough, $4,287. So one last piece of, of um, analysis. I wanted to make sure that there was not a relation I wanted to see if there was a relationship between parcel size and value, and there was not. Um, it's color-coded here, unitized, leased, unleased. The, there was the two unitized, the red bar represents 25 net mineral acres. Here you have the biggest sale, and it's the lowest value. There's no linear relationship. So why is the unleased parcels going for so much more? Like I said, the unitized 3,700, leased 4,500, the unleased acreage all over $1,000 more. Well, we do see that six months of spot natural gas prices does have an effect on pricing. Um, the pipeline infrastructure also has an, but, but it's not like you can just apply a number. Um, the unleased properties represent an opportunity. Here's what's going on with the unleased properties. Basically, the mineral buyer is selectively buying unleased properties, then getting it leased so that they uh, get a land bonus that, so that they can then reduce some of their capital outlay when they purchased it. So they are able to make that move. Um, obviously, they just didn't want anything in the economy borough. So I made the appraised price at $47.50 to $5,000 per net mineral acre. <clears throat> so our conclusions from 2016 to 2019 is that spot natural gas prices really do have the biggest effect on prices because before it was 3000 to 3500 and now I'm appraising it at 4750 to 5000 and it's a dollar more in the in the um, spot natural gas Appalachian index is a dollar more the pricing hierarchy of unleased leased and unitized is not always clear i.e. that 2016 it was the inverse of what happened in 2019. Uh, the appraised in 2016, the sold price for $3,500 per net mineral acre represented an $88,000 investment. 2019, here's the appraised uh, range. If it was sold, it would be $120,000 to $126,000. The internal rate of return in a three-year period would be ranging between 36 to 43 percent. 
So I appreciate your attention, especially after 